Well, it's not easy, but it works. And um, I got the wrong draw bar. There is a spot to put a, uh, a normal draw bar in, and I'm going to be doing that a few minutes. But um, I wanted to get the fit and feel. I extended the snout, uh, the, the stack, just with some... Ex uh, I cut some shrink tubing and slipped it over the outlet just to make sure it got above the plastic. Um, not sure what I'm going to do about that in the real world, but we'll figure that out. And the uh, menagerie at the transition is still there. I have yet to cut a wire, but I'm just about ready to. And um, I'm just doing another test. These guys, I put heat sinks on them both. They still get nice and warm. This guy gets warm, but ow, not too hot. He's a little hot in the back there, but they do get hot. That's what they tell me. I'm going to put a fan in there. No doubt about it. Got to have a fan. But what bothers me is this pulsing, and I can't say it's the triggers because um, it, it seems to come and go. And it seems to begin at the uh, beginning of every uh, new operation. Well, now there, I just said it, and it didn't. There, it does not at all. That's forward, and that's beautiful. I was almost ready to say it was the capacitor on the relay trigger circuit, but now I'm not so sure. Hmm. The running, I mean, both of those get hot. I don't, I don't like it, but that's the way they are. They operate that way. this medium sized speaker back I think it's plenty the uh, amplifier is turned up a maximum you can see the wires tidy right up until here and I got cuts I got to cut a lot of wire down and I got to make a decision on where we're gonna have these brakes I've asked Dan if he could make a harness because this is now we know the count right it's Two, two times eight. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I could change that link. That would show us the more real world hookup. Ha! Ah. And it's only 3.30, so we're in good shape. I've gone ahead and made a decision on the bed, uh, or on the chassis for the tender. I've cut it, I've sliced it, I'm, I'm going to make it in two halves, and then I'm going to glue them together. And the top half will be red, and the bottom half will be black. So from all of the exposed sides from the tender, it'll be black. But if you open it up, it'll be red. I, I feel really comfortable with that. I feel like that's a good thing. And uh, we can... Uh, I'll reprint the trucks and the side trucks for sure and um, in the black I'll try to do it today but this this operation has me concerned that that pulsing is not something I can determine I mean it looked like it was coming out of the, the cam, rotating and banging into one of the the uh, switches, but I've tested them when uh, the everything was apart and it would roll free. Yeah, it would hit it at a minor resistance, but it would still be able to go through it. I'm not sure. Now I'm not sure. I'm wondering, I, ha I do have a capacitor on this um, relay switch thing. I might just... Uh, Take off one lead, you know, take it out of circuit and see if that makes a difference. Just not sure. Okay, well, I'll keep 
messing with it, see what I can come up with. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm watching the score of the Washington-Philadelphia game without a lot of enthusiasm, I might say. They've, uh, Philadelphia, it looks like they've scored. They might have scored again. I don't know. I can't see the score. And the Philadelphia fans wear green jerseys and they're all smiling. Yes, they scored again. So it's 24 to 17. And that's not, that's not a good score. That's bad. We need more points. Okay. It's a one score game, though. I mean, you know, could do it. Oh, dearie. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't know what to think. Don't know what to think. I was going to get my scope out and hook the scope up and look at the volt pattern over, you know, over seeing it crunched in time to see if I can determine if I take something out or put something in, does that make it come or go? Don't know yet. Cut my stupid thumb on my cutters. I was cutting a wire and I had some reason I had my thumb up here like this and I went to cut the wire and I actually cut my thumb in the in the stripper part. Oh jeez. That's minor but I know I got to hide it because then I get in hot water. Oh boy. I mean everything functions right but I put it on the track and it's just Clunky. That's all I can say. It's clunky. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get back to it. Filling you in. Fine there. That's 60. That you expect. That's 30. You're getting a puff and a chuff. You feel it, right? I don't know. It's not smooth. All right, I'll keep chugging. Send me some ideas if you think of something.